A U.S. partner in the Middle East is officially being isolated by several other Gulf states over its relationship with Iran, its meddling in other countries, and its alleged funding of terrorist and extremist groups. A growing list of nations is joining Bahrain, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates in cutting diplomatic ties with Qatar. Qatar calls the allegations, quote, absolute fabrications. Tonight, correspondent Rich Edson reports from the State Department on what led to this move and what the impact could be for the United States, which has two major military bases operating inside the now isolated country of Qatar. A feud between American allies. Several Arab nations are cutting ties and isolating their neighbor, Qatar. Claiming Qatar supports extremist groups, Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, Bahrain, Egypt, and others are suspending diplomatic and economic relations and blocking land and sea routes with Qatar. We certainly would encourage the parties to sit down together and address these differences. Uh, and we, if there's any role that we can play in terms of helping them. As the U.S. pushes greater coordination among Gulf countries to combat extremism, the diplomatic campaign against Qatar potentially complicates the fight against ISIS. Coalition forces launch attacks from a Qatari air base, the largest U.S. military facility in the Middle East, with 11,000 military personnel. The Air Force says the Combined Air Operations Center provides command and control operations throughout Iraq, Syria, and 17 other nations. Qatar is also the forward headquarters of U.S. Central Command. Nearby Bahrain hosts the U.S. Fifth Fleet. It also cut ties with Qatar. Qatar has long charted an independent foreign policy compared to the other Gulf monarchies that, that are its neighbors. Uh, for the last two decades, it's uh, tried to be somewhat independent of Saudi Arabia. Part of that has also been building very cozy relationships with extremist or even terrorist groups throughout the region. Qatar says allegations it supports extremists are baseless and unfounded. During the 2011 Arab Spring, Qatar expressed support for popular movements against authoritarian governments, at odds with regional autocracies like Saudi Arabia and other Gulf countries. In 2014, Saudi Arabia, the UAE, and Bahrain withdrew their ambassadors from Qatar for eight months. In late May, Qatar's state news agency reported the country's emir as expressing pro-Iran sentiment. Qatar says that was the work of hackers. Saudi Arabia rejected that explanation. Now major national airlines like Emirates and Qatar Airways are canceling flights. And with blocked borders, Doha grocery stores are running out of basic supplies. Secretary Tillerson and Secretary of Defense James Mattis say this diplomatic rift will have no imp impact or no effect on the fight against ISIS, though there are potential consequences for U.S. coalition building and the broader Middle East. Brent? There's a story to watch. More with the panel. Rich Edson at the State Department. Thank you.